Hi, material science students. My name is Amy Rambo. I'm one of the material science teachers. I'm going to take you guys through your Worley gig kits today. So if you look in that big envelope that you picked up from school, your take home kit, you should have a large envelope that says Worley gig lab on it. Inside of that bag, you should have a white piece of paper that has three Worley gigs. So these are the Worley gig templates. You're going to want to cut one of these out and put it in the other little plastic baggie that's inside of your Whirly Gig Lab. Inside of that bag, you guys are going to have a piece of foam board, a piece of cardstock, a piece of aluminum foil, and two popsicle sticks. In part two of the lab, you guys are going to be evaluating these materials. I would take one of these little templates and put it also inside of that baggie. With all of those materials on the side, you'll want to keep those safe because you're going to actually use those materials to construct your whirly gig on Monday or Tuesday of next week. Along with that white piece of paper inside the big bag, you should have a piece of yellow string, a piece of red yarn, six little paper clips, and three rubber bands. I would take the yarn and the yellow string, line them up, and cut them in half, like so. Take these two, put it to the side, use those for building your whirly gig on Monday. I would also take one of the rubber bands, put that to the side, and a couple of the paper clips in case you need it for designing or testing on Monday. So you have some materials to work with today for testing, but you also have some stuff to build with on Monday or Tuesday. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys through cutting out this template. The first thing you need to do is actually evaluate to the original product template that the toy company used. So you're just going to have one of these templates cut out. First thing you need to do is cut out that rectangle on that black solid line. If you're planning on cutting this out along with me, I would pause the video for just a second, cut out your rectangle, and then hit play when you're done. Okay, so I have mine cut out here. You can see that there are dotted lines and solid black lines in the template. So the dotted lines are your fold lines. These solid black lines are the ones that you want to cut. So I'm going to take a second and I'm going to cut this one between the A and the B. So when you're done, you should have that line cut. And then there's two small solid lines right here. You also want to cut those. Not all the way across, just a third way into your whirly gig. So just that little line there and your little line there. Okay, if you cut across this white part, you'll destroy your whirly gig, so please make sure you don't cut that. Then you need to fold your whirly gig to make it look like a helicopter. So the dotted lines, you want to start by either folding in your C or your D. So you're going to fold that towards the back and then again fold over your D or C whichever one you have left. So when you fold those over, you should have just that little piece at the bottom. And then there's this dotted line at the bottom. You want to fold that either forwards or backs. Direction doesn't matter. And you just have that little tail that's folded going either way. So that's what it'll look like when you get the bottom folded. And then you have your A and your B. These are your blades or your I got it like your helicopter turbine. Take one of them. I'm going to fold my B side where I can see it. And then the A side, you want to fold in the opposite direction so I won't see my A. When you're done, your whirly gig should look like this. Okay. I think it's question number two or three to ask you guys to evaluate how it works. So in order to get these to work well, you actually want to get some height on it. I would actually recommend going at least six up to eight feet high. If you have a staircase that's open and you want to drop it from there, you can actually get it to work pretty well. To work pretty well. So I'm going to stand up on my chair and show you guys. So hopefully you saw that falling, but you just want to hold it, pinch it right between the two blades and then just drop it. And it will hopefully do a fluttering or turning action as you drop it. Um, if it doesn't, that's kind of the point of the project to have you guys make better designs of that whirly gig. So we're going to ask you guys to do some testing 
an evaluation on this, first thing I want you to do is evaluate the paper. So this is just kind of very similar to your standard computer paper. It's a very light piece of paper. I want you guys to tell me using those vocabulary words that we talked about on Monday or Tuesday. So if you have to go back into your folder for May, I'm sorry, not May, August 24th and August 25th, open that up and you can look at those terms. Is this lightweight? Is it heavyweight? Is it rigid? Is it flexible? Look at those terms. Identify terms that would describe this piece of paper. Tell us what are the good qualities, what are the qualities that you don't like about it, and then do some testing with it. That's why you have these materials. So you have the string, you have the yarn, you have paper clips. Like one of the very favorite tests to run last year in class was to take a paper clip and secure the tail. So you kind of take the tail out, see what that does. I had some students that secured the blades. See what that does. You could add a bunch of paper clips, adding some math onto it. Um, you can take your rubber bands. If you want to cut these, you can. If you want to take the bottom and kind of roll it up and then secure the rubber bands around it. If you want to attach these to the bottom and then add the paper clips or the rubber bands just to add that more mass to it to see if it helps or changes the design. One of the other really popular things to do with the whirly gigs was to change the blade design. So your blades are again are these A and B flaps that you have. So you just take a pair of scissors and you can go rounded. You can make them shorter. You can cut them in half so that the width is changed. So you can change that design in any way, shape. Just use those modifications to help you come up with your final design. So I'm going to show you guys one of the designs that I cut out. So I took my blade and I just changed it and then dropped it to see if it changed or made it a better whirly gig. So, you know, get it to actually spin more. The second part of this video is really rough, so I'm going to do a voice over here. So the second part of the lab, we want you guys to evaluate the materials that you will actually use to build your whirly gig. So that materials bag or that small little plastic bag inside, you guys had the wood sticks, the aluminum foil, the cardstock, and the foam board. We want you to take those out and we actually want you guys to play around with them. Try to figure out what the physical properties of the four materials are. We want you guys to tell us, just like you did with the paper, is it flexible? Is it rigid? Is it lightweight? Is it heavyweight? We want you to decide which two of these materials are going to be the best to actually build your whirly gig with. The one you need to be careful with is the aluminum foil. The aluminum foil is delicate if you have foil and you rip the one that is in your packet, please feel free to use some aluminum foil from your pantry. Just make sure you cut it to the same size as the piece that is in your kit. All right, now here I'm showing you guys testing the different properties with the wood sticks, bend, bending it, and then considering if I want something flexible because you need to kind of figure out which materials are gonna be the best to build your design of the whirly gig. So if I want something to add rigidity, I wanna have that stiffer material. So here I'm trying to show you guys different ways you might add the wood sticks to your whirly gig. All right, different ways you might consider using those wood sticks. You could add them to the blades. You know, if you're trying to get a nice stiff blade that spins or stays in place, that's one way that you could use it. You might also consider adding it to the base. If you want to have, you know, that solid base where it's not a lot of movement, you could put the sticks in place on your base of your design of the whirly gig. So just a couple of ideas of where you might think of using those materials. In Schoology, you guys have an assessment that goes with this lab. It's the material evaluation assessment. When you guys get to the end of this lab, you need to open up that assessment and tell me what two materials you want. Tell me why you are going to use those materials. 
what we need to know is I'm using the wood sticks because they are, and give me those properties that you want to see in your Whirly gig. When you guys submit that evaluation, that will be the final part of this lab for today. On Tuesday, you guys are going to, on Tuesday, you guys are going to actually design your own. If you want to take today and kind of sketch out what you have in mind while you're working, that would be a good idea.